Hey guys, so I thought I would share what I carry in my backpack on a daily basis to school. I have an old Jan Sport here. I've had this for probably the better part of a decade. I carried it for a while in high school. Um, I've sent it back to Jan Sport a couple times to have it repaired. So I think Jan Sports are definitely worth the money. I'll probably never have any other branded backpack. Right here I have one of my old name tapes from one of my uniforms. The reason for that is because at my previous college, the bookstore wouldn't allow you to carry your backpack into the store. You had to leave it basically at the front door. And when it's really busy and there's 20 or 30 backpacks sitting there, I wanted mine to uh, be a little bit more distinguishable because a lot of people just have, you know, plain black backpacks. So I put my name on there. So up front, I don't have a whole lot actually. I got some gum. I'm not a huge gum person, but sometimes I do like it but I chew it so vigorously that it loses flavor within a couple of minutes. I also have a flash drive. Yeah, it's a 32 gig. I haven't used it yet. You know, it can't hurt to have. I you know, like these little neoprene cases, case logic makes, and I have it attached to my backpack so it can't go anywhere. I have a big eraser for math, usually. I have chapstick. I don't usually get chap lips, but when I do, and I, and I finally notice it, and then it's all I can think about and it drives me up the wall. So I very rarely use it, but when I do, is a lifesaver. And I have some lead, and I have two pencils. I might make a video about these later, but these are the best pencils I think uh, money can buy, in my opinion. So this one is a Uniball Kuru Toga. It's fancy because as you press down on the lead, there's a mechanism inside that causes the lead to rotate so it doesn't create a point and makes it less likely to uh, break off while you're writing. Because sometimes when I'm trying to write really fast or vigorously, I, I break a lot of lead. So it's a nice thing to have. And then my other one is a Zebra Delgard that I actually had to order from Japan. And it's fancy because if you put pressure on the lead at an angle, then this little metal part, this metal sheath that covers the lead actually slides down and keeps the lead from breaking. And it's actually really cool. And I haven't broken lead on it yet, so it works. And also if you push too much, uh, put too much pressure on the lead straight down, then the lead will also retract up into the pencil. So I, I only carry two pencils. And I also only carry two pens. And I'm a pencil snob for sure, but I'm a massive pen snob. So after years of using a bunch of different ones, the only two pens that I use is a Pilot G2, which is a .38 version, so the, the finest tip they make and a Pilot Precise V5, which is extra fine. And that's all I really have in that one. My front pocket here, all I have really is a jacket. In the summertime, it's not usually an issue because I, I'm just so hot all the time. From time to time, I will get cold in the class. And again, if I get cold and it becomes noticeable to me, then it's all I'll think about and it'll be really distracting and I'll just be uncomfortable. So it does take up some room, but it's not too heavy. But it's, it's one of those things that I think I'd rather rather be safe than sorry. And then down here, I have my computer. So um, I have a case for it, even though my, my backpack has a laptop sleeve in the back next to my back. Um, I like having this so that I can put my computer um, on top of it when I'm on a desk so my computer doesn't get dirty or scratched up or whatever. Just an add layer protection. We all know how expensive computers can be, and I really don't want to have to buy a new one if I don't have to. And also I carry um, a five-star... How many dividers is this? It has five, five divider uh, notebook. And I like that it's got sleeves in front of each one. If I want to stick something in there, it's got a ton of paper. Um, I'll probably use most of this paper, uh, if only in math. And also the, the pages are perforated. And that's all I really need. Most of my classes, I don't take a lot of notes in. And if I do, I do it on my computer because I can type a lot faster, probably two or three times faster than I can write and my handwriting's terrible. So I prefer to do that. And that way I can watch I can watch the teacher in addition to typing. You know, I can do those things simultaneously rather than have to look up and down at my uh, notebook. And then since I don't use my laptop sleeve for a laptop, um, I actually keep Scantrons in there. And I also keep hard copies of all my syllabi for every class. Um, I also keep digital syllabi on my computer, on my desktop, in a dedicated folder for syllabi. Uh, but I like having a hard copy so I don't have to open up my computer potentially just to do that. So this is a lot faster, you know, inconspicuous. And on the side pocket here, it's for, I would imagine it's for drinks and stuff, but it's gotten a little loose with, with age. And I usually just keep my headphones in there. I do a good bit of walking, so between classes I'll listen to music or listen to a podcast. 
And what you won't find in my backpack is actually a calculator of any kind, not even a four function calculator. The vast majority of math classes won't allow you to have one. And even if they would, if they do allow it, I wouldn't suggest it because eventually in higher level math classes, you're not gonna be able to use one. So it's a really good idea to be able to do not necessarily mental math, but know how to convert things into things that are more easy. Turning something like the cube root of three into three to the one third power and stuff like that. Uh, but a lot of times it's the math itself isn't really hard. And that's really it. So thanks for watching.